Ross, Vice President of Design at Design Techs, and we're going to take you through a walk through our showroom to show you what we're highlighting for Neocon this year. Uh, Neocon kicks off our 50th year anniversary and the return uh, to the brand One Plus One. The first collection is called Shelter, and um, Shelter to me means what you put on your body and what uh, covers you in a home. Uh, that's kind of how uh, Shelter came about. And working with the Museum um, of uh, New Mexico, in particular the Museum of International Folk Art. And uh, I went to Santa Fe uh, three or four times this year, and what I did was I really dove into the archives. They have a magnificent archive of costumes, they're top ten in the world, uh, basketry and pottery. And so this collection is a wonderful collection showing the different inspirations and um, and bringing them into a more modern sensibility from a price point, standpoint, performance, and also aesthetics. Um, I can show you a few of the fabrics. I think that would be great because then you can have an idea of, of what I mm, thought process. One of the things that I tried to do was uh, come up with uh, unusual fibers to kind of highlight the beauty of old, um, uh, old garments. This particular pattern um, called Volanka is was based on a dress from Macedonia at the turn of the century. And uh, it was just a beautiful wool dress, but with really amazing um, detail, uh, very heavy stitching. So this, uh, in, again, using really beautiful yarns to highlight and, um, and to produce uh, that kind of um, embellishment. We also are bringing back beautiful wools at a very, very good price point. This one in particular um, was based on a wool overcoat with beautiful trimmings. And I wanted to take that to the trimmings and make it very simple. So you have a very simple stripe um, and, a, and a wool polyester blend. This particular pattern is called Rio Grande, which is the river that runs through um, uh, the city. And what it, it, it is, is to, it's to duplicate the black and white positive negative of the pottery and then show different colors going through it, like the pottery and the potters that make them. Another wool, unfinished. This is a beautiful uh, fabric, because this really is what started the whole collection, the whole idea of overcoat, and that, in, that wool in the winter is warm and in the summer is cool. And when I was going through the archives, I found that most of the garments had were made of wool or very wonderful natural fibers. Again, another fabric, um, we brought in the whole idea of the sun. Um, it's very, very, um, in a Native American culture, the, the sun is a, a very great symbol. So we took this and, and brought in the sun into this particular fabric. And one of my favorites is this velvet. Um, the original archive was a an old uh, kimono that was hand woven with um, straw. And so what I wanted to do is uh, kind of bring this and elevate and make it a luxury uh, product without um, sacrificing price or, or durability. And this also has a beautiful uh, rayon yarn that almost looks printed on the, the velvet. When I walk you a little bit further into the collection, you'll see that we did warm neutrals and, and colors that were indigenous to Santa Fe. Um, in our display, we show um, the actual archive that it was inspired by, and then in a museum-style display, we're showing you how the fabric looks um, to the to the actual archive. For example, this is called Morning Star, which is a really beautiful um, uh, symbol and motif in basketry. And we, what I took was a, a great uh, clear olefin yarn that has a little bit of luster in it to create this matte shine effect. Again, going back to the Rio Grande, which is the pottery, you see the black and white, and how when you look at this in this particular color, you see that black and white positive neg negative imaging. A tush, again, is, a, is a, a garment reminiscent of a, a kimono, and um, a baya is the wool, and there's the overcoat. You can see that um, you really do get this, uh, how that overcoat and the way it would look in a, in a, in a garment. And then, um, we also did a lot of digital imagery, which, you know, that's a big part of our company. And we tried to take all of the pictures that we accumulated during our trips and show them in our digital imagery in the back of the uh, showroom, along with um, the rugs that we designed and also the furniture that we, um, we upholstered in these beautiful designs. Another big promotion at ne uh, Neocon is uh, our transitions collection, which is a no PVC 
um, recycled, uh, durable uh, walls and upholstery collection. Um, as you can see, we are doing these beautiful um, printed uh, PUs in combination with some beautiful solids. That, you know, it's very difficult to print PUs, so we were very uh, excited that we were able to get um, beautiful design detail by either layering, um, which in one of our patterns, um, we layered it so that you could see that we could really get some textural, almost like a woven uh, quality. We also, it's Transitions is all about movement, so we decided that, you know, transitions in nature, transitions in, in going from vinyl to a, a, a no PVC story. We also have a, um, a very nice, unique um, offering of solids um, from 100% uh, recycled polyester to a PU with a stay clean um, um, dry erase uh, finish on them. And also we, uh, we do a friendly foam faux sure, which I'm sure you know is something to understand in line, and we pearlized it so it had a really, really beautiful sheen. Um, you know, again, these act like vinyl, perform like vinyl, but are no PVC story. The other um, part of this collection is our new wall covering, which are, are made from TPO thermal polyolefins, and, and this is a very strong uh, environmental story with a reclamation program. And in keeping with collaborations this year, um, I was fortunate to collaborate with two amazing young designers out of Atlanta, Tara Hill and Matthias uh, Sinneth uh, from Little Fish Think Tank. And um, one of the things that they did for us, they um, designed a whole cubicle collection called the Josephine Collection. And it is inspired by uh, Empress Josephine and her uh, beautiful gardens. And we have five patterns in, uh, for cubicle, um, vertical uh, patterns that kind of um, illustrate the, the connection from the garden and all of the um, architectural influences like a Greek key and other things that were important to, to um, Josephine's garden. One of the things that uh, is a first in the market is that we will, three of the cubicle patterns are have Aegean, which is the silver ion that when that is inherent to the fiber and when you touch the fiber, it uh, sends off an antimicrobial. So it's first in the market and we're the first to have it. So we're very excited about that. Um, we also uh, interpret the designs with the Sea of Trevira with this beautiful eyelash um, cut, which is very unusual. And this could also be used for drapery. And then we also have an FR, one FR polyester. What's lovely about this collection is about urban chic, um, sophisticated neutrals, and pops of bright color so that it really covers the, the whole spectrum in healthcare. In addition, they designed two patterns that also reflect bamboo and also the Greek key. One is in the Aegean uh, polyester, the other is a solution dyed nylon. Comes in an array of color. And in addition, um, in this uh, collection, which was is a design text product, are two extreme performance basics we're starting. And one is Delane, which um, I'm always challenged by the idea that we, they, someone wants a billiard cloth, the wool billiard is too expensive. This is a, a recycled polyester with a green krypton, and it feels and looks and performs like a, a wool um, billiard cloth. And the other is just a very beautiful solution dyed nylon uh, with a boucle. And what's lovely about this pattern is that it's soft to the touch. Um, typically, boucles are hard, especially in a synthetic fiber, to get the, the kind of softness that you would get in a natural fiber. So these two, in addition to the two other, are a really strong statement for healthcare or any crossover uh, marketplace. Again, we're kicking off the 50th year. It's, a, it's we're bringing back one plus one, which is really great. And um, we're, we're showcasing the best things that uh, Steel, um, Steelcase and Design Techs have to offer to the, to the market.